Good evening, everyone. Today, I'm very, very happy to call on and invite the merit list rank number one in INISS May 2025 session, Dr. Lipsa Nayak uh, to the forum today. So welcome, Lipsa. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So, uh, so Lipsa, just can you tell us as to uh, where are you from and where were you UG and PG from? Sir, myself, Dr. Lipsa Nair. I completed my MBBS in 2020 and I completed my MD in May 2025, both from SCB Medical College, Katak, Odisha. Excellent. Odisha. So, Odisha is probably the hub where every year a few students from which get selected into the INI. Excellent. So, Lipsa, why did you choose hematology? I know Odisha is a, is a great hub for. Uh, hematology, especially sickle cell and its spell. So wh what made you or what drove you towards that? Sir, my institute being the highest referral center of my state, I was exposed to a lot many hematological conditions during my uh, medicine postings only. And uh, sir, uh, during our second year only, we have postings at uh, various super specialty units. And sir, uh, the hematology posting was my last posting itself, which was in July 2024. Uh, till then, I was not very sure of which subject to choose and my interest uh, uh, enhanced when I was uh, posted in hematology unit and further my interest grew when I was selected and we won the state and uh, East Zone National ISHBT quiz and we were selected for the national uh, for, his, um, for the national quiz itself. Yes, so the quiz gets the credit for many aspirants turning towards him at the year. And I'm yes. glad it's still continuing the way it is. So coming down to the uh, most important thing, Lipsa, uh, you decided in July 24, which means not even a year back that you wish to enter hematology. And yes. now you are rank one, which is, you know, the most coveted rank which everybody aspires for. So uh, how did you go about a hematology preparation, you know, with respect to I. Sir, with respect to INI, sir, I started uh, seeing all the videos of yours in uh, Maro itself. I watched the videos two times religiously and I also completed the notes and revised it two to three times. Uh, uh, subsequently, from July to um, May itself, uh, the quiz itself gave the push for which I could revise it multiple times. And sir, uh, I used to uh, do custom modules and also appear for the GTs to assess my progress in the subject and hence increase, uh, know the areas in which I am poor so that I could revise it multiple times and get the questions correct, sir. Okay, so on an average, how many out, how many months of preparation uh, you feel that is adequate and how much time you took you know, as a student to go through all the videos as such? Sir, I, I, sir, I think for hematology itself, three to four months is adequate. But for the general medicine part, we need to make our basics clear over the over the three years of PG, and uh, we should always practice. Question bank should always be your goal to practice each day and also solve the questions and also give GTs to assess our progress. And around six to seven hours per day during the last two months and. Uh, also, three, four hours before can uh, help to, to achieve this, sir. Okay. You know, every year, uh, some of the other students will ask that, do I need to read textbooks like Devita, Williams, or Windrose? So, what would be your advice? You know, if you are aspiring to for him, what are the primary sources which you can use, you know, uh, which will help you for INA preparation as such? Sir, to be honest, I my primary source was from Maru. I also completed few chapters from Ash book itself. I used to see all the updates from Ash clinical news, and also I used to see some journals uh, from how how to treat series. Then, uh, sir, uh, but to be honest, I don't think the super specialty book is really needed. We if we religiously practice questions and also uh, mul uh, revise multiple times then we can do uh, good in this exam, sir. Right. And did you attempt the previous INI in December 2024 or you were not eligible for that? No, sir. I was not eligible for the exam. It was my first attempt. Excellent. 
and the, was was need ever on your on your mind on on for hematology per se no sir i uh, from from the very first i decided to pursue uh, hematology at the central institute itself through iniss i had given it but uh, i couldn't perform well i i secured a rank of in 1300 so i didn't participate in the counseling also and i uh, made up my mind to give the ini and go for ini set only sir okay and when it comes to the final day you know the uh, exam day or the d day uh if you first talk about the theory exam as such what do you feel was a difficulty level with respect to medicine questions or hemat questions and how many did you attempt overall sir um, um the difficulty level was moderate level but the general medicine part was a bit trickier this time i thought uh, uh, so overall the paper was good and uh, hemat questions were good itself and uh, i could do the questions uh, from i i guess most of the questions were from your notes only sir and how many questions did you did not attempt sir i didn't attempt three questions all were from the general medicine part only i attempted all questions of hematology excellent usually it happens like that that the inclined to a specialty the general medicine questions will usually seem more trickier and that's how it yes, is sir. okay so uh, when the theory results come and you have to prepare for step 2 uh There, I get many, many queries. You know, step two is an interview. Interview will be tough. I mean, work in hematology. So that is one a big speed breaker, which some students seem to face a great extent. So we did have a webinar before the step two exam. So what was the, how was the step two preparation, and how did the webinar help you or not? Sir, I would really like to thank you for the webinar. It was exactly in the same format which you said, sir. it was only basics you you had uh, said that they will uh, they will not ask many updates or any trials it was exactly in the same format and also i got uh, two questions and with two spotters with two questions each and also the same you all as you always said they would ask the causes of thrombosis with thrombocytopenia it was asked and uh, apla classification and apla criteria and then these all were asked sir it was a basic level only sir okay and uh, just to put in a nutshell or as like a broad overview for people who are aspiring to do clinical hematology there may be some students who will be in third year now or some students who just passed out or just missed their i9 by a few marks or few ranks so what would be your general advice to them for whom i9 november 2025 is a target what will be your advice to them the first we should make our basics clear we should cover harrison uh, notes and then sir for the last two months i think we should uh, read for 6 to 7 hours a day and uh, practice questions and give gts and assess our weak areas so that we can give more effort and also some updates are asked for which i guess uh, ash um, um, site is uh, adequate and uh, that's it sir okay and because you are ninth one you have the liberty to choose any institution and i probably should not ask this but i will still ask which institute for you sir i will go for aims delhi sir excellent it was my alma mater and it is a very popular yes sir okay great trip sir i'm really really happy to have you here today uh A very sweet, simple, studious, hardworking girl in front of me who has made it uh, in her first attempt back to a triumph one for an INIS exam. Excellent, sir. Keep it up. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.